Hi, it's Matt from Gogreen Auto. So this is another video about what is under the bonnet in a Renault Zoe electric car. So we have two Zoes here. This is a 22 kilowatt hour battery pack Zoe. This is a 2014. And here we've got a 2018 one with the 41 kilowatt hour battery pack. So first off, we're under the 22 kilowatt hour vehicle. So, not an awful lot to see under here it's very crammed in but basically this is your electric motor stack well the electric motor is at the bottom sits underneath here which we cannot see it's all very tight but at the bottom of this stack is an electric motor that's driving the front wheels directly and then on top of that is your charger and inverter systems all housed in this aluminium blocks everything that is orange is the high voltage cables so with these cars the battery pack sits down there under the floor in the sills well the floor pan and then that's 400 volt and then it comes up to here into the effectively what is the engine so all electric cars have a 12 volt battery and the 12 volt battery starts the vehicle runs the lights, the wipers, the dash, all the ECUs, everything is standard 12 volt because the 400 volt traction battery is only powering the electric motor and the heating system. Everything else is 12 volt. So just like a normal car, it's completely reliant on a 12 volt battery and this is the standard 12 volt battery from Renault's part bins that they would use on a Clio or any other normal ICE car. However, there's no alternator to charge the battery while you're driving. So while the car's in use, there is in here in the what's called the PEB unit, which is the inverter, there's a DC to DC inverter and it's converting the 400 volt DC to 14 volt DC to charge the battery while you drive. And then here we've got the brake fluid reservoir, windscreen washer top up. Uh, we've also got a water a coolant bottle here the car does have a radiator the air intake is down here very small air intake because evs don't have grills because there isn't much cooling going on but the water is pumped around the electric motor and the electronics to keep it all cool and this motor is called the q210 so it's the very earliest motor that was in all the renault zoe's until 2015 and this was made by continental and it charges at 43 kilowatt ac so it's got ac rapid charging and now if i move to the newer 2018 car it has a different motor this has got the r motor this is called the r uh, 110 r 110 and this is because it is made by renault and we can see it's got renault written at the top here um, and it also looks a bit like a petrol engine really because you've got this ducting here which almost looks like it could be the air intake with the air filter but of course it isn't um, so yes it's, uh, it doesn't have a metal top like it does in the other one the difference is this motor is made in-house by Renault it's slightly more efficient the only downside is it only charges at 22 kilowatts AC maximum so it doesn't have the rapid charging like the older Zoe's did so they still do do that motor in the newer cars but it's an extra uh, upgrade so the majority of Zoe's have the newer Renault motor and the rest of it's the same you've still got the um, coolant bottle a 12 volt battery brake fluid and um, windscreen wash down there but the whole motor stack is a completely different unit including the charger and the inverter systems it's all different but again we can see there the orange high voltage cables coming in from the battery pack and obviously from the charge port at the front. I thought I'd just show you the isolation switch on the Zoe. So all electric cars have a master isolation switch, a master fuse as it were, where you can turn off the battery pack. And on the Zoe it's under the uh, driver's uh, mat and under this panel is your master switch that will isolate the pack so this is what Renault dealers would use if they're working on the car or indeed if the car's been involved in an accident this is where the fire brigade come first to disconnect the battery so there's no chance of any electrocutions particularly if the car's been involved in a serious smash so next we'll look underneath the Zoe so not much to see under here really um, plastic cover at the front and then this is your front uh, suspension obviously front wheels here and then the battery pack starts here uh, it's all cased in aluminium completely flat floor and that goes all the way back 
to your back wheels here. So um, the full, it's the full uh, floor pan of the car between both axles. And then at the back here we've got our rear suspension, plastic underneath the back bumper here and uh, plastic tray here. Can't quite see what's up inside that. There's something there. So there's a venting hose there. So um, yeah, oh yeah, I remember now. So yes, these EVs, I look at so many different EVs. So in the boot of these, underneath the boot floor is a cooling fan. And we can just see up there, the ducting going across that way. So I'll show you underneath the boot in a minute. So not much to see really. Obviously it's all completely flat and flush, which is great because that improves aerodynamics, hence why racing cars have, have very flat floors. Much better than all the cavities you get with a nice car with an exhaust running down and a fuel tank and everything else. Um, but yeah, not much to show you really. One thing I'll quickly show you on the Zoe is we've got the anti-roll bar here and then we've got a pair of drop links that connects the anti-roll bar up to the side of the shock absorber same setup in every other car but for some reason on the zoe these wear really quickly and um, there's been many zoe owners had them changed under warranty as little as 15,000 miles i tend to find i'm changing them when a car gets to about 30,000 miles but if you get knocking on the front suspension it's usually these drop links um, if renault aren't doing them under warranty they charge quite a lot i think it's about 80 pounds for a pair i've done a video on it but you can buy a pair for about 10 15 quid elsewhere and while we're here i'll just show you the cooling obviously we've got this um grill at the front very low down just above the number plate the number plate does obscure some of it but the size of the radiator is just that size there uh, very small but of course EVs don't need engine cooling the cooling is just well it is engine cooling in effect um, but it's just cooling the the circuit boards and the electric motor um, so we don't need a particularly big radiator and a particularly big cooling system it's not like a um, an ice vehicle where you've got a fire under the bonnet that you've got excess heat you want to get rid of so that's why electric cars have very slim air intakes. Another interesting feature I'll just point out uh, is the bonnet on the Zoe. I don't know whether you can see that but you can see it doesn't shut flat and it allows the air to go up under the bonnet lip and you can see just there there are some air vents specifically designed in the skin of the bonnet and air is obviously blowing up inside that and it's around the badge all along the front lip, air is designed to go up inside the engine bay. And then if we lift the bonnet, you always get this with Renault Zoe's, is they're absolutely filthy underneath the bonnet here. So this is this lip where air is being forced into the engine bay and it blows into these vents and then comes out, um, I guess here, I can't quite see the reason why they've done this. I guess it's to allow heat to escape that's coming from the motor and it allows it to vent out, um, but probably more so by pushing air in and venting out other ways. But um, what you can always see on the Zoe is all this grime. And of course it's not grime from its own engine bay. This is other soot and pollution particulate matter from other cars on the road. This is sucking, this is what we're breathing, this is what we're, what cyclists and pedestrians and, and ourselves as a driver, we're breathing this stuff in. Um, so when I get Zoe's in, I often have to degrease the underside of the bonnet because there's just so much muck on them and I have done a video exactly on this subject. Um, and it's because the Zoe has this vented bonnet system, you do get a lot of muck on the underside because it's purposely drawing air in. So I mentioned about the fan in the boot. I've removed the contents of the boot. Uh, I was mistaken. I was actually thinking of a Kia Soul when I saw that ducting. It's very similar to a Kia Soul. And in the Kia Soul, where you have your puncture repair kit and things here, there's another big fan assembly here. Um, what it is is the batteries are force air cooled. So when the battery is hot, like when it's rapid charging, fans come on and they blow cooled air through the battery pack. Um, and that's what the Renault Zoe does as well, but obviously it's not um, visible here, it's all underneath. 
um, under those covers at the back of the battery pack so there's nothing to see inside the car. So I hope someone finds that video useful. If you have liked the video, please do click the thumbs up icon on YouTube because that allows other people to find the videos. And uh, maybe you want to subscribe to the channel. I've got lots of EV uh, videos on there. And if you click the little bell icon, you'll get notifications when I upload a new video.